Hey, it's a bad second group over here back again with some more Pearl stories and mail. Oh yeah, so it's off. We made it to Aegis's chamber through the overgrown chambers, and now we need to uh we need to get some stuff on our side in order to be able to get to him and get out. Lab generator access. Alright, uh I guess we can go this way. Okay, let's might as well just do this first, because this is the first thing I saw open. Hooray, turrets. Goodbye. There's another turret right here. Now the interesting thing is the turrets don't uh, the turrets don't have uh, captions in this game, even though they do in uh, even though they do in the uh, in Portal Two. Not open. Okay, this is open. Every vent in there is filled with those turrets. We pulled up every last one of them a long time ago. Oh. Me. Okay, Mel, I'm reading that the generators are offline. Only way that the security systems can come online is to turn on those generators. Okay. But, according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generator two. And it's locked. The control room for generator one has a manual security override, though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Do you really want to be asking that question? The control room for... So, it has an override. How do we get in there? I'm pretty much just, like, stuck over here. Well, oh, wait, actually, there's something up here. This is open. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on, and then get out of here. That's fun. Do we need to have the turrets, like, blow out the wind? Ow! We do need to have the turrets blow out the windows. Maybe oh, wait, no, that's bulletproof. This can be blown out. This can be blown out. Oh, jeez. I gotta, uh, I gotta get, I gotta get over there. Crap. Wait, did you just, how did you, well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? No. No, you didn't. Okay. Go, go, go. Jesus! I think I can get in there. Maybe. Yeah, I can 100% get in there. I gotta go. Go. In. Alright. Now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. All right. Okay, so that was the first thing we needed to do. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, Virgil? Oh, no. That is not good. Um, so wait, do I need to be in here? No, I don't think I need to be in here. The, uh, the bad Emancipation Girl is there. Do I have to, like, walk on the pipes or something and get back? Yeah, alright. Whose bright idea was it to have those? Who at Aperture thought th uh, thought those uh, uh, thought those uh, bad emancipation girls would be a good idea? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can't get in there. So turret factory access. Nope. Security testing access then. 
All right. All right, so um, I think that might not be as easy as I once thought. Uh, Aegis has done uh, quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Good thing you got a portal gun. Uh, yeah, good thing. Uh, yes. Goodbye. You saying Virgil? And I think this one took out the catwalks before. Avoid those turrets and get to the security room. Yeah, this isn't this isn't working. Um, wait, maybe we need to grab this and then get into the get into the. Uh... Yeah, maybe I need to grab that and then get in here. Yeah, yeah, this will let me get behind them. Goodbye. Okay. I'm assuming this. Yes, this pushes. Which means I can get out here now, hopefully. Oh wait, no, I'm not stuck. What am I doing? Going going through there was a re uh, was a uh, uh, was not correct. Um, but I think grabbing this was a good thing. Let's see, so there's the security room. All right. Oh, great! You're there. There should be a switch around in this room. Yep. Once you flip it, Aegis's main security systems will go down. Then it should be a straight shot to the core. Well, we need the we need the we need the turrets that are on our side, right? Returning to the Cordia and Intrusion System, core mainframe security at 20%. External intrusion detected. All the remaining power diverts to the turret manufacturing line. Production increases to 350%. Ah, oh right, the turrets. Uh, well, it seems he's diverted all the power that was going to the Death Fizzlers into the turret production. Which, hmm. hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Aegis. Yep. All right, all that's left is those turrets. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? Mm -hmm. This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Yep, going. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. Most? So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. The last time we took a turret out, it went based on memory. So, what makes you think this is gonna work? So that didn't work. Computer yep. The templates work, uh, which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, uh, scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity events here, which means I can't bring one in. Great. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones manually. Great. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. Okay. Is there a turret to scan yourself? Or is there an achievement to scan yourself? Doesn't seem like it. I didn't get an achievement. I heard you. Live turrets. See on the other side, and just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. 
which are not a thing. Oh my god, there's a portal wall over there. How was I supposed to know that was there? <laughs> there you are. I knew all that track running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model, it's what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead. Okay, there we go. Here's how we sabotage the turrets. So get rid of this. And here, have the Aegis memory bank. Uh, the, uh, oh my, you're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced, allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Yep. Well, why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model. One of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that. Just, just trust me. Are you sure? There you go. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, that works. Uh, I knew that would work. Uh, totally knew it would work. Well, anyway, the turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. All right, let's go. Forgot to mention, those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets' targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up to date they can be and to prevent hacking. Oh, really? Huh, okay. So these ones should be good? Yeah, we're good! Alright. Looks like we're going to fight Aegis. Oh, that's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. Th don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Thanks. Elevator access denied no unauthorized equipment. All right, Nell, this is it. This is Aegis's server room. Oh. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operation center. Welcome Preparing to my domain. Localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Okay. That door seems to be locked. Try the other side. Oh, there we go. The water is electrified. Because of course Look it is. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. I don't know how to get over there. Um... Oh, up here. Up here it looks like. Look up! There's a portal surface above the water pipe. You should be able to use that to cross over to the other side. As long as I don't fall off of the... God, come on! Here we go. That's better. There we go. Okay. Dispense the turrets. Executing threat. Hello. Ooh! It's working! The turrets are in the servers! Grab that turret and destroy the rest of them. Turret's targeting parameters compromised. Searching for alternative defensive measures. Here you go. Target lost. What do you mean? There's a target right there. Good night. Wait, there's some right here. Turret's I just realized. Good. You destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Uncompromised really? turrets found. Uh oh. Deploying archives turrets. That doesn't sound good. Nope. Crap! He got his hands on the old turrets. Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself. Oh, great. Hold on, do I need that 
No, I don't think I need that turret. Um, what am I missing? Uh, Virgil? Who are you? Do I need to do this? Yeah. Asphyxiation program. Draining oxygen. Uh oh. Lethal oxygen concentration in T minus six minutes. Okay, Mel. This is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood with the toxic goo that he's still pumping up. Great. Here we go. Uh, go. Nope, don't fall over. Don't fall over. Here. Go again. Okay, uh, here. What are you waiting for? Keep moving those turrets around. I'm doing that! Great job. That's half the servers on this site blown up. There are a few more upstairs. Go destroy them too. Get upstairs. Uh oh. Lethal oxygen concentration in T minus five minutes. Not good. Not good. Not good. I gotta get this turret up there. Um. Ow! 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 ow. We don't have much time left. Hurry. I literally. Oh my god. So it looks like I gotta. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um. The entire facility depends on you. Really? There's nothing I can do. Um. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Come on. Jesus! Okay. Oh, great. Oh, I gotta get... Hold on, how do I get this turret up? Ow! There we go. Is this door open? No. I gotta get... I gotta get this turret up here. Um... I don't want to drown in goo. It won't come to that. Get out of here. Okay, um... Uh, how about this? Don't fall over. There we go. Uh, I'm still here. Oh my god, I get it! Here we go. Don't worry, I'm good. Here. Okay, now what? Um, the other side. Oh crap. Um, totally forgot about the other side. Um, here you go. Goodbye. Okay. Go. There we go. Error. Alterated server control failing. All non vital systems terminating. Power redirecting to manual control. User input required. Voice control deactivating in 3, 2, 1. This is it. If you can get inside the mainframe and shut it down, we'll be home free. You can leave, and I can live forever. All right. So, whenever you're ready, get in the mainframe and shut him down. And, and stop the toxic goo from flooding the facility here, you know? And you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. 
How do I get up there, though? Um... That. Okay. I, mean, I hope this is it. Only thing I can think of. You're kidding. Yeah, I found it. It's right there. I'm, I'm dumb. Oh! Another cutscene. Okay. Ooh, that seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Uh-huh. Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type, um, ping, underscore, target, underscore, list. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? What? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel. What have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject, this thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? No. Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. Right. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode? Now, it should be around here somewhere. Take a look around. I see. Yeah, 2056. Twenty fifty-six. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. Huh. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Oh. Oh. Well. Goodbye. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. Yep, it <laughs> kind of was. Anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel. Thanks for the call. This is, dude, this, this mod, uh, I mean, I see what people were talking about with Portal Stories Mel, like, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure people were mainly raving about, like, how 
challenging the chambers were in like the advanced mode. But uh, I mean, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad story mode was the default. Uh, is the default now? Because uh, yeah, I didn't want. I didn't want to be stuck in here doing chambers for so long. <laughs> Even though I do like Portal, I don't. I don't want to be stuck in here doing chambers for God knows how long. Outside, but you know, might as well find out. It's in wow, this place is in ruins. Okay, title drop. Let me guess credits. Oh, no, wait, there are credits. What? Okay, interesting. I don't want to, uh, I mean. Can I skip the credits? I mean, uh, I mean, they did they did a really good job. It's just like I I don't want to skip it. I don't want to skip it just in case. Maybe I should just come back as soon as the credits are done. Oh, here we go. Post credits. Winding through a lot of events. Aegis? Final procedure, draining facility reserve power. Waking test subject to one. Gel. No, I mean this isn't canon, so it's not uh, it's not like confirmed that uh, that Aegis was the one that woke up Chell, but yeah. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for Portal Stories. Mel, hope you all enjoyed the adventure. I'm I may come back. So at, mm, hang on. That music is a little suspicious. Uh, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this adventure. I'll probably come back and do the uh, the advanced chambers at some point, but I have no idea. Either way, I I want to get I want to move on to uh, aperture tag next because uh, I've heard good things about aperture tag. So yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in aperture tag later. Yeah.